Hey guys, you probably already know what I'm gonna say. It rained again, and so gives me time since I'm not gonna be in the field to uh, to work on a little project. We recently got a 32 foot, I think it's 32 foot gooseneck trailer, and we're gonna use it a lot to move bales. And I'm just gonna be making some bars on the end. We got some oil well sitting over there, and I'm gonna start cutting this stuff. Dad's gonna bring the trailer up. And I got a little welding and a little cutting to do today. So here's our trailer. And we, uh, and we got this three point ball hitch so we can move it around with the tractor real easy. What I'm gonna be doing is I have that channel that's sitting over there. I'm gonna cut it so it's sticking in here. On top, I'm gonna be putting that oil well. And so that way it'll lean the bales in a little bit so it'll be harder for them to fall off. Right now, I got the flat iron. It's three inches wide, quarter inch thick. I'm cutting two at a time. I need to cut 24 of those and then 24 pieces of the flat iron. And I'm gonna cut them about six inches long. I'm doing these four and a quarter. So I think I have most of what I need cut with the channel iron, the flat iron. Um, I'll probably have to cut a few more things later. But right now I'm gonna back the trailer in as far as I can, and then I'll start welding on it. Welding the flat iron to the channel. How they're gonna be is sitting like this. The, the flat iron, is gonna hold them up and it's gonna give me a nice long area to weld from the flat iron onto the pipe and so it'll be easy for me just to clamp this together and then weld on a table and so and so I'm gonna move all of these onto some sort of table using my nice wooden saw horses that I made here's my fancy table Got a vice grip, a couple clamps, some wood that definitely won't start on fire. We got a Lincoln Electric 216. We bought this about three years ago, I think, and it's been really nice. And so I'll grab my helmet, gloves. I'm gonna put a sweatshirt on so I don't burn the crap out of myself. How's my welding? So what I did there was I tacked either side, ran a bead on this side. This wood might start on fire by the end of the day. And so I'm gonna do that to all of them. And it's gonna take a while. So here's a time lapse. We're gonna be skipping this first hole because the bales are pretty big and so the the middle of the first bale should be about here anyway and it should be resting up against the frame of the gooseneck trailer but when I put the bar on it'll be overhanging a little bit it'll save me some time and I don't know about four dollars by not having to put that one in and so we have these ones lined up I'll figure out where to put these and so I'm gonna take our small pipe. We're only gonna use those two outside ones. I'm gonna roll one of them up against all these pieces of channel iron. And then that'll, that'll help me to see where I need to wire wheel them up because they're really rusty. And if I weld on them when they're rusty, it'll make a really poor weld and it won't be strong and there'll be a lot of splatter. And so I need to clean it up. All them spacers are set in there. I didn't like how these were working. And so I just used ones from the other side 
and these ones I did earlier will go to the other side and so that way it's sitting up there a lot better and so I'm actually gonna grab the other ones and do all of them and then I'll roll that bar over clean it up because I'm gonna need my dad's help for sure when when we set this up on top and that way someone can be holding it and I can be welding on top of it and figuring that out I'm gonna take this wire wheel and clean up right in this area, right where I'm gonna weld. Ready? Supper's ready, so I'm gonna go eat and come back, clean that up, and then we'll tack it up here. Just had a nice rack of ribs, and now I'm gonna shine this pipe up and that pipe. And so, like I was saying, I'm just gonna clean up a nice area right here. Hopefully I can lay a weld all the way across this bar. So that's what's gonna be going on. So we got everything tacked up and I just gotta put weld on all of them. And then dad's cutting that piece to stick in towards the end. And so we're getting close to done. We just ran a bar up down here and put some flat iron holding it up and holding onto the bar. And so I'm gonna weld this up good so it's strong. And then we're gonna run a bar from here to the other side. That way the bales don't roll off backwards. And then the plan is to cut it off right here and then make it so we can bolt it together. That way when we're ever loading up our skid loader or four wheelers or anything, we'll be able to take the back off so we don't have to drive over that bar. And we'll probably never take these side ones off ever unless we put something on there that's going to be really wide, like a tractor. We got that back pipe laid there. And the plan is to take one of these. It'll give us a really good surface to weld. That is hot. And so we're just gonna clean this up with the wire wheel and then weld that on there and cut off the other side. Well, that took about five hours, I think, five or six. All we need to do now is cut right here and make it so we can bolt that together. That way we can take that back piece off whenever we want to use the ramps. But it's getting hot and I actually have something else I need to get done. Um, I hope this was interesting. It's a little bit different than me sitting in a tractor or working cattle. And so got a little welding done. And so hopefully this should be just about ready to move some bales. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.